Hello guys, this is Mama Sadiq. Uh, hope you are all fine. Uh, I am here with new video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we will learn uh, how to create Laravel application, uh, create have an application for crude operations. So, in the Laravel application, we will learn uh, AJAX call for an application, and it will uh, call an API uh, service. So uh, we will uh, discuss uh, these these things in uh, this video tutorial. Uh, composer installation, Laravel global installation, create a new Laravel project, and local development for uh, local deployment for your uh, project server, and creating hello world page, establishing connection uh, with the database, and creating model for table creating first record in database table with ajax and reading records from uh, database uh, with ajax and uh, updating record uh, to database with ajax and uh, deleting record from database with ajax so uh, these uh, four operations uh, is also called accrued operations creating reading updating and deleting so let's start first of all we will need to uh, uh, we need to com uh, install composer uh, first uh, uh, we need to know about composer 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 is a, a dependency manager uh, for installing some of packages for laravel and uh, it is like npm and uh, if we are talking about java the uh, it's a ma like maven so it's a dependency manager so um, we need to um, go uh, website and uh, laravel website official website for an installation process so let's go there Here is uh, documentation. So in documentation, an installation process is here. So uh, server requirements, uh, some of the server requirements, uh, there should be uh, five point, uh, PHP 5.6.4 and uh, these are uh, server requirements for uh, that. So in installing uh, Laravel, Laravel utilize Composer to manage the dependencies. So here we need to install Composer first. So, if we are uh, uh, talking about Composer, we, we we want to visit Composer official website for installing Composer. So, here is the official website of Composer and uh, download Composer for uh, your system. So, I am using Windows so that uh, I can uh, download the Composer uh, set of exe file. Here is downloading, it's downloaded. So, need to install it. Uh, it will require um, administration process so uh, this error message because uh, it's always says uh, conflict because I have already installed composer in my system so whenever you will install this comp uh, this composer uh, you will not uh, you will not see this error message because you you haven't uh, you have haven't installed composer before so I am uh, skipping this uh, process. It is, uh, is quite easy. Just follow the steps and install uh, the composer. After installing a uh, composer, you need to uh, go back and uh, check the other uh, requirements. So uh, if you have installed composer, then you need to open uh, command prompt. In the command prompt, you need to check uh, composer version uh, for uh, testing composer version. It means uh, you have successfully installed your composer. So uh, after uh, checking composer version, you need to check Laravel itself. Laravel, check Laravel version so uh, after installing composer you need to uh, install laravel itself so check the uh, official website page so here is uh, like this command 
you need to install uh, global require okay then you need to copy this command and paste in uh, paste in command prompt then it is installing laravel in your system so of after installation uh, of laravel in your system uh, you need to check uh, again laravel version but it will not uh, show you version again so you need to uh, you need to set a environment variable in your system so need uh, open uh, open your com my computer um, properties uh, system properties uh, just a minute you need to uh, open system uh, properties in the advanced system settings uh, here is environment variable so set the environment variable here where uh, where to find uh, where to find composer uh, you will uh, check the composer you will check the composer here it will always in user uh, here is a username is upro and uh, after upro you need to go app data and roaming here is composer here is composer vendor and this is bin so you need to copy this path uh, for your environment variable so set in your environment variable here a new i am using a uh, windows 10 that's why this is a view of environment variable but uh, this is view or uh, a uh, different view in windows 7 so here save it okay done so having uh, done uh, environment variable you need to uh, open command prompt again for checking laravel installation uh, check laravel version so you have uh, successfully installed laravel in your system so uh, now you need to go your uh, directory where you are uh, always uh, create your new projects or learning projects i'm using d, uh, d uh, drive and uh, there is uh, the learning directory where I'm I'm using Laravel directory where I, I always create new projects in it uh, new uh, project name crude uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to so a Laravel new crude operate operations so it will create a uh, new project for you named with crude operations so it is installing uh, it's downloading from internet some of the packages in, uh, with it so it's installing having created a new project uh, with named crude operations and uh, then you will uh, you will see a lot of uh, uh, directories in your uh, in your project so we will find the things here where I, uh, where we create a new project so I always e-learning this is a Laravel directory and this is a new project which you have uh, which have been created by me so open this there is a lot of uh, directories in it so we need to know a uh, short uh, discussions about these uh, which is are the uh, mandatory uh, which are the most necessary directories of the project this is a app where we always have uh, controllers and uh, models here over here the exceptions clause 
so in http we have controllers middleware and kernel so go back this is a uh, this is a model uh, user uh, we can uh, we are expecting user uh, table in your uh, database so this is a simple model okay and uh, another thing is the database database uh, this contains a lot of files and migration migration it's a advanced level uh, topics so in the config uh, we have a database we can config the database uh, and the uh, application configs and all of the of these configuration files so in the public in the public we have uh, we have static resources like hash, uh, like uh, like uh, css js and uh, images in it these are public uh, this is a public directory Though, so in the resources we have assets and uh, uh, views here uh, we have have views and this is a view uh, welcome a view so uh, view always have dot blade extension in it so uh, this is a route and in the route api and uh, web is the most of the uh, most used uh, files and uh, web is uh, like uh, we when we whenever we are going to uh, create a url we have to we we have to add a new entry for url in web or api here is a storage in storage we can have log files in it and whatever there are other files so test is if you if you want to uh, write uh, test cases uh, for your project you can write over here the unit test cases and other test cases net so uh, now uh, this is a this is a, another most important file uh, which is create uh, which is used for uh, establishing connection with your database so uh, i'm uh, going to open this directory in uh, php store so in this uh, in this project or in this video tutorial we will use php, PHP storm for our project it is opening php storm so now open your project created project it was in d e learning laravel and this is a your project so open it I have opened it in success, uh, successfully in my uh, IDE. So these are applications. Now it is time to. Uh, uh, it's time. So what have we done? We have done this uh, com uh, composer installation. Uh, it's done and uh, this is done. Okay, and uh, the Laravel installation also done. So now creating new projects is also done. So, local deployment your project server. So now we are going to uh, deployment our, our project as a local environment. So uh, there are, um, we can start uh, by command line. So uh, there is uh, uh, there is a command of PHP partition serve. Sorry, uh, it's a uh, typo error. It says there is no file, so we need to go in our project. Now here we can type the same command as we done before. So now it is starting. The server is started now. We can access it via this URL. We can mark or copy this URL. Uh, for our browser okay open your browser here in the browser we can add this URL for op copy here paste here we can open now it So whenever it is installed and your server is started, you will 
always have this page uh, laravel documentation uh, this is a default page it's a welcome page for a uh, first time when you whenever you have uh, build your application so let's uh, go here so uh, let's see how this page is open so we need to check this url uh, this is a default url where is no any other uh, url string so in web we we can see that here is a view uh, which uh, indicate there's a view name is a welcome so we uh, learned uh, in the short introduction view uh, uh, views can be found in resources here in the resources we have welcome view so we welcome dot blad uh, view uh, here this uh, this in indicates or note this view so it all uh, we can check this what is in it uh, it contains some of uh, css and html and uh, this is documentation laravel and urls so in our page we can find the same things we in in the uh, in the view so it directs uh, open the view but there is not usage of a uh, controller by default so by default it's always render a view directly so we can uh, check a uh, controller uh, we uh, here in http and uh, uh, this is a controller we can make another controller in it and a uh, uh, lot of controllers we can make here but uh, this is a, a controller by uh, default um, uh, created controller we can use uh, use it as well so uh, in the controller we uh, we can uh, we can uh, create uh, a, f a constructor for default calling or we can create uh, another function for accessing uh, database or uh, we can render uh, many things in it but uh, but in this simple we are creating a, f a function for getting a welcome uh, welcome view from the controller so we can write here public function get index and return welcome this is a welcome file uh, which is a, a view so we always save it and uh, we always uh, remember this controller name and the function name uh, this will uh, we, we, we will add entry uh, in here so we can delete this function we can define with controller here a controller name here the rate and then a uh, function name so having done this uh, we need to uh, uh, set a name for accessing uh, for accessing in roles or wherever uh, we are making links so we need to name it this URL so I have uh, given uh, index name to this URL so again hit this page so again if i have had this page then the same page has been rendered from controller okay so we have successfully rendered the uh, page from controller here so let's uh, see what have we done we have started uh, local uh, we have started server uh, for local development now creating hello world page so uh, first of all we uh, need to uh, set hello world uh, in uh, this page we can delete all of content from here
here uh, this is the things like uh, delete the style here and uh, this is not needed and uh, we can delete this too until this says hello world so we will find that uh, this is a page we are accessing here refresh it we can see that a hello world page now uh, now this is the second uh, thing is uh, this is done too and uh, this is also hello world is done now we are going to create uh, establishing connection with database so we need to create a database first in our database so you need a uh, you need mysql or anything else so i am using uh, this xamp so mysql server is started in xamp so I am using this uh, you can start mysql uh, server for that another thing uh, I am using this uh, client uh, application for database uh, which is my SQL workbench it, uh, it always uh, helps us for creating database schemas on anything else so I am creating a new schema for my project uh, which is also called uh, database so uh, it's quite easy in this crude i'm giving it name a crude so it is created new database with named crude here is database i'm setting as default schema so we can create uh, a new table in it uh, I am creating new table uh, like uh, uh, box ok it is a uh, named box box id uh, which is primary auto increment book name book price what can be uh, integer or double which can be decimal field or uh, can be for length ok this is successfully created here a table box named box so we will uh, we will do all operations on uh, this book table so uh, here uh, we are our uh, main target is establishing connection for database so open this project and here is dot env file we can set our connection uh, parameters for our project uh, for our database this is a database database name so we know that database name is crude uh, it's also uh, it's the same as a schema name so here is uh, a schema crude and this is a database so it's a crude operation this is a crude uh, crude project and this is a username I know that my uh, database username is uh, root and password is 12345 so it's uh, quite easy the uh, connection establishion connection is very easy in Laravel so our application is successfully established for our database so we can refresh here if the connection is not uh, established successfully it will show an error but uh, there is no error it means uh, our uh, connection database connection is established successfully with 
database so now the second uh, target our target is creating this is done also and creating model for table so we are going to creating model for our table box so we can create our models here in application this is also model user but there isn't any user table in database so now i uh, here we can see that in database a box table so create box table model in uh, here create php class or something else so uh, box as a model the model name so a uh, box so we can uh, extend this uh, with a uh, base model we can say that we can extend model so it's extended with model and the model we can uh, set the prop some of the properties for a table set protected protected table this is a table name our oh, table name was box another field uh, is protected um, dollar primary key this is a primary key which was a primary key which is a book id primary key is what book id this is a dead database table id we can find here the box is a table name this is a book id is a primary key which is a book id okay we can set here book id but uh, we know that uh, whenever we create new record it says uh, it's a uh, by default time stamps uh, is created for a table but we have haven't added any field and database for a time and date so that's why we can uh, set that public uh, time uh, time stamp time stamp is false we haven't any we haven't used or created a time uh, column for time and that so this is all done and model so a model is now created so first of all uh, uh, now this is also done uh, creating model so creating first record in database with ajax so for this uh, thing sorry for this thing uh, creating first record in database with ajax so creating uh, this thing we need to create here a form a uh, form for uh, for uh, get, um, getting import uh, data for uh, ajax and uh, creating ajax call for javascript or uh, jquery so need uh, needs some of the things like uh, uh, importing uh, jquery in our uh, in this page and uh, uh, creating form in this page so need to do that uh, in in this uh, view so i am going to create a form here this is form uh, i have created and uh, let's see what's the output of form this is simple form uh, name or uh, so we uh, we don't uh, have the name or or email we need to create some uh, so here is updated uh, now uh, we can see the refresh it so book name and price price is number field and uh, uh, we can submit the date uh, submit here but we need to know uh, here uh, know the date what is the data in, in the database so for that uh, uh, for that we need to add here a table for weighing the data for retrieving data from the data so doing that thing before we create and record through this so now need uh, create ajax uh, for javascript so we need to uh, here import java uh, jquery cndc this is url for ajax jquery
okay i have uh, added ajax uh, call ajax here and uh, this is a function for submitting here is a function on click whenever i some uh, click submit button then it will call this function and this function will call ajax ajax this is a url a url is uh, save or update but we can uh, say there here is api then save or update because um, in the laravel 5.5 or 5.4 uh, there is another thing uh, like web and a, there is uh, in the road here is a, here, here is a pf here is a pf we can uh, add the add here services like uh, uh, our web services here so uh, it's by default have api uh, before the url this is before url like this so we will try to add uh, this url here in api in this uh, video tutorial so it's a quite simple uh, and post is a method so going to uh, send the data in controller uh, for saving or updating a record need to uh, pass the data via uh, via url apis web services so need to write here uh, met, uh, method uh, for post we can write here uh, what was the url name this is url name we can set in api so after that we can have controller name uh, for sending data here and the method for saving or updating we can create the same uh, like this method function here let's see what this gets always request from this variable we can get the data so before getting data we want uh, we need to check this is this method is called successfully or not uh, called it is called it always return this type of message or string while uh, calling ajax it's for debugging so here uh, we add in this a function with that name we can set the name save or update the same thing so let's try uh, to let's try to check here uh, and the checks request press F12 checking source code so in index we can check here uh, a check score we can uh, debug here while uh, we can here debug or on success we can debug to okay then add here book name uh, like uh, uh, java ref complete reference complete reference okay then price price we can set the price uh, 20 dollar something else okay submit that url here is the url so uh, before we checking that is this the correct id there is no id and uh, from by this we can have name is correct this name is correct so by this uh, can we say see that the price the okay price is correct so call the network so at network called and uh, it return uh, it is called so we successfully uh, uh, checked that uh, this function in the controller is called 
okay now we can check the uh, imports uh, back uh, with it like uh, we can uh, send we can send with it call uh, with it uh, variable uh, book name back for checking we can check here uh, what was the, that name in our uh, project uh, like in edgex this is use uh, so uh, book id so we can here the book id this name where we can find the name here is a name so it set the back uh, to edgex call uh, with the name okay uh, java complete reference okay we, we can set it java and this price the submit that thing it returns with the java java it is called successfully we can uh, uh, get a name here so now it's time to save our record in database okay so first of all we need to uh, add this uh, book uh, book model in it so books is added here as a and box model so we need to here set book variable with the new okay new it's a default I have created new instance for book for adding the all the things in it like a uh, book it was uh, the database name is uh, what is the database name here we can check the database name this is uh, book ID this book ID book ID if there is an ID in request we can say that uh, book ID or we can Set ID book and get the ID from request and assign to in it. Okay, in the same way, same way, in the book name. So in the database, as a book name, book name. Okay, request. Okay, it's the name, just name from a ajax call so uh, by mistake i have called uh, added this uh, book price name is wrong with the deleted button so i need to need to alert it so that it's correct here we can check here the price name so the book you can hear the price book price in the case it's just price p or i c e price this these are the names where we can find these are the names book id this is a book id okay this is a book id we send in uh, book request okay it's a name it's a name and then this name and this is price this, uh, sorry this is price we can say that this is price so uh, if we can set the check for id if there isn't any id we can uh, set uh, it will set the null if the null then it will uh, consider this if there is a new record but if there is an id then it will consider uh, it will consider that it is updation so we will do like that so let's uh, add here save or fail set here result uh, we can uh, a 
always we can put this uh, in try or catch uh, but uh, we are also doing this uh, with research if the result is successfully then create a response and we can save the response edit response uh, above now json mm, json data array sorry this array this message record successfully added successfully saved or updated else message fail fail to save or updated failed to save or updated okay no need of this return okay let's try let's try to add record <coughs> refresh it book name uh, java price 44.15 dollar Submit the record. Add the record and wait for response. Is there any error? There is error. We can check the error. What's wrong with it? It says access denied for a hosted name at local using password yet so yes uh, we can add another thing uh, for saving record in laravel uh, which is uh, here in the form we need to add uh, the uh, this is the these of lines and this is line c c s r f token uh, it is always needed uh, ajax setup headers it sends uh, in header for a uh, token so we added this in it and uh, refreshed the form refresh the form let it go ok name in java 33.15 dollar save the record what it says again once again it says tonight so let's try our connection uh, here in the env file so there is uh, another pro uh, problem whenever we change an env loader uh, it is also needed to restart server uh, again uh, restart server again uh, it's also kind, uh, kind of prob uh, for uh, configuration file Whenever you change in dot env folder, then you can restart uh, all two. So we can uh, check again. These are some of uh, sort of problems like always occur whenever you first time doing the things. Here we can uh, see that undefined in the message, but I think record is saved in database let's check the record in the database okay we have successfully uh, saved our record in database so there is a I think uh, there is a message not returned uh, the record the message okay mm, response dot message 
this is the same can say that search and try again and the report like the same thing okay this problem there should be a message okay man uh, we have added successful uh, record in uh, database now we are going to uh, show this in the table uh, another what the next check the table this is also done creating record okay then this another is uh, reading record from database so we are going to do that reading records from database uh, with ajax so here we can uh, implement a table in this form whenever an added add the record in the table we can say that uh, uh, record is added successfully okay man then we are creating going to create here a table for this for uh, for showing records here is table is added uh, for viewing the reports here is table a uh, name name of book price price of book and edit if we are going to uh, add a record we will uh, press a button like uh, edit or if you are going to delete a record we will press delete record, uh, button on the table then this will uh, implement in uh, next of uh, two lines of our target uh, our, our target but before doing that we need to uh, load the data in this table so uh, for that thing we need to add another function for loading uh, data so adding this okay added this uh, ajax call for loading the data when uh, when it is loaded like uh, we can set this on load body load body call this function on load okay it always uh, load the data from this so need to uh, add this entry and api section here so need to add another url another url here uh, like list okay it is simple list controller get list it should be method there so this this is a list okay go to the controller and uh, set your function here public function get list here okay then if you are uh, returning your list you can uh, find book box sorry you can add here all so we can set the response here we can set here a response so return the response but in oppo and there was a message in undefined but we forget to add return uh, statement for our course we are sending back box here box here we can save the data here okay then we implemented like a data the post will get a response in data then if the data is found found the what is the length and uh, run a loop and add the data accordingly so we uh, are going to refresh that here we are sorry uh, we are going to add add to the 
check that right. okay let's check uh, what is is there any error yes there is an error refresh it and check the what kind of error there is so is the list shows that something went wrong what it says that the match line and the row.php collection so there is an error not found http exception so uh, it, it does not found what what does not found so let's try to check this go here checks all the all the things are correct here you can re return simple statement like uh, ok works fine check the all the url and all the things here refresh it and check the things here in network call always it's always uh, written it means that the function does not call so uh, let's try to uh, check function uh, functionality so uh, I'll open this controller as a get list and check here uh, where is API this is a list okay it does not call why well, you know that we haven't uh, prefix API here you forget to add API here prefix for calling that function so let's check again uh, it's call uh, so it's work fine the code so back to here remove committed record code so now call refresh again so what's the error here in the list we can uh, have we fatal error for constructor it's require constructor it says that there is no constructor uh, for exception let's check that what it says that book so is there any uh, book controller no here there is no book model there is books books not book so that's why it says so we can here check that the java and uh, there is undefined so and i think there's a column mistake and the book price okay then here you can find that this is a price but it is book price You can check again close this there's book price this is a book and book price okay we have successfully uh, reading record from database in our table so let's go ahead uh, like this is also done so updating record let's try to update record uh, record through this whenever i added the record it loaded in this with the id and said uh, some bit it and reload the reload reload this table again so uh, let's do that first of all we need to uh, again uh, edit add the method here for edit record add the method here uh, edit So it's is quite uh, simple. Here I have uh, added some more uh, edit edit function. Uh, how does it work? Whenever I load the data from uh, API in list, it always get the data in a data variable, which is above is a global variable. Whenever this edit called edit button, uh, when it is called, it is added in 
table here with the index number so it's with the index number it gets index and it, it, it get the data index from this loaded record and get the data and load it with uh, load it in the form here in the form with the book id name and price whenever it is loaded then if the button is saved again press some bit then it will update the record because there is there will be an id in the record so let's uh, let's do this and try this okay let the data added this is added the second record java reference reference and they update the price the 45 let's check in uh, source code up submit the button we have some good button but uh, there is an error uh, what it says it says the uh, duplicate entry of two uh, for primary key so it's, it does not update the record it says the duplicate key of uh, uh, primary key two so let's check uh, what is happening in our controller so whenever it goes in here in uh, data so it says that uh, there is a duplication key of update so we can make another logic here over here what the logic would be if if there is uh, id in book so we can say that if there is id in book we then we can find books record find we can find uh, uh, okay we can find book records here in the record okay find with the same id if there is an id then find the record okay there's no need of this id okay come again and uh, update this record let's see okay record successfully saved or updated now so uh, it, it doesn't does not refreshed refreshed so we need to reload load function again after successful message returned here it so add here if this successfully then load again table now check this again this is a uh, uh, java reference and java complete here update the record first record and update the price 40 dollar and save some bit then this is refreshed record so now it's time to delete a record uh, it's a uh, so here this is also done for updating record now it is time to delete record from database here we can say the record is uh, uh, updated in database or not we can say the record is also updated in database so now need to record from database with ajax so here we are going to do that uh, we are deleting method we can add another method for delete deleting record so i have added a uh, function for delete so here is a url api then delete a post request a book it sends a book id uh, so on behalf of book id it will delete and uh, load uh, reload the table so this url uh, uh, happens or uh, then this will be entry in the here with the delete okay then say that this uh, d a t delete code the same with the name delete okay delete record method record method where to do that we can add the entry of delete here 
in controller the same process as we have done before uh, we are getting parameter uh, of id book id in it so need to add a request here request then find record and delete that record uh, here is a book and find record box point on the behalf of book id here is the book id book id if record is found then delete it then delete it delete delete it the record is deleted successfully then return message and the json press pause and set the message for that record deleted successfully press successfully so this method is uh, created now we are uh, going to delete the record from our table so i am going to delete this record the record has deleted successfully uh, table is updated so let's check in our database is record deleted successfully or not record is successfully deleted so this is a uh, uh, crude operation application so hope you have learned a lot of if there is any question or query uh, related this program or uh, uh, project you can comment below at my youtube channel i will uh, i will try to give you response quickly and if you need the source code of this program you can commit uh, your email address below at in the comments comment sec section i uh, hope you will uh, subscribe my youtube channel Thank you and bye bye.